In this module, we shall discuss some more interesting results on direct products of groups. Let's state the corollary. The group direct product i equal to 1 to n z m i is cyclic and isomorphic to z m1 up to so on m n if and only if the numbers m i for i equal to 1 to n are such that the GCD of any two of them is 1. So, this is the previous theorem ki hai aur yahan par hum ye state kar rahe hain ki agar koi se do m1 and mi aur mj ka gcd 1 hai to hamare paas direct product jo hai i equal to 1 to n zm i wo zm1 up to so on mn ke isomorphic hoga now let's consider an example if n is written as product of powers of distinct prime numbers as in n equal to p1 n raised to power n1 up to so on pr raised to power nr here uh, sub n subscript 1 shows that uh, we have uh, n1 in the subscript uh, then Zn is isomorphic to Zp1 n1 cross up to so on Zpr nr. Yahan par P1 up to so on Pr jo hain wo prime numbers hain. Aur uh, agar aap humne n ko P1 uh, iski factorization ki form mein likha hai. P1 raised to power n1 up to so on Pr raised to power nr. So, uh, Zn is isomorphic to Zp1 n1 cross up to so on Zp r n r direct product of the groups Zp i n raised to power n i for i 1 to n for i 1 to r. In particular, Z72 is isomorphic to Z. 8 cross z9 and uh, you can see that 72 is equal to 2 raised to power 3 into 3 square uh, we, and uh, in this way we can write z 2 raised to power 3 cross z 3 square We remark that changing the order of the factors in a direct product yields a group isomorphic to original one. The names of elements have simply been changed via a permutation of the components in the n tuples. Uh, here you can see that you group ko, uh, in example ke andar aapne dekha tha, Z8, Z72 is isomorphic to Z8 cross Z9. Similarly, you can see uh, Z9 cross Z8. And now, uh, the role of your components ka hoga, jo aapka second coordinate tha, wo ab first coordinate and the first coordinate second. Ban Lekin Z9 cross Z8 jo hai wo isomorphic hoga Z72 ke. It is straightforward to prove that the subset of Z consisting of all integers that are multiple of both R and S is a subgroup of Z and hence is cyclic group generated by least common multiple of two positive integers r and s likewise the set of all common multiples of n positive integers r1 up to so on r n is a subgroup of z and hence is cyclic group generated by least common multiple of n positive integers r1 up to so on r n so least common multiple jo hai wo hamare paas subgroup ko generate kar dega now let's define least common multiple 
let r1 up to so on r n be positive integers their least common multiple abbreviated as lcm is the positive generator of cyclic group of all common multiples of ri that is the cyclic group of all integers divisible by each ri for i equal to 1 to n now we state the theorem let a1 up to so on a n ordered uh, n tuple belongs to direct product i equal to 1 to n g i if a i is of finite order r i in g i then the order of the element a1 up to so on a n n tuple in direct product of the group i equal to 1 to n g i is equal to least common multiple of all the r i so uh par is theorem ke under statement mein aapne dekha hai ke humare paas jo element hai direct product i equal to 1 to n g i uska order jo hai wo r uh, uh, least common multiple of r i ke equal hai jaisa ke pichli slide ke upar humne is cheez ko mention kiya tha ab hum formally theorem ki form mein isko state kar rahe hain now we prove the theorem this follows by a repetition of argument used in the proof of previous theorem for a power of a1 up to so on a n to give e1 up to so on e n the identity element in the direct product i equal to 1 to n g i the power must simultaneously be a multiple of r1 so that this power of the first component a1 will yield e1 a multiple of r2 so that this power of second component a2 will yield e2 and so on in this manner we have uh, uh, prove that order of the element a1 up to so on a n is the least common multiple of their powers r1 up to so on r n